Hello dear Facebook! Welcome to free Facebook Live with Kalira. Today we are going to... I'm fixing my hair, <laughs> I had to hurry. Today we are going to work on 3D figure eights, which is one of the movements we are working on also in my online boost classes. Uh, hi Valeni, welcome! So I'm giving you guys some time to, to join me, to log in. Meanwhile, I will talk quickly about some updates that I am going to send out soon. First one is this Saturday I am teaching a free, hi Marianne, a free one hour workshop called Fearless Flow Work. Hi Miko. <laughs> and this is one of the topics that I wanted to make a DVD about this year. Back in January when everything was still kind of normal, I was planning on making some instructional DVDs and with all that happened, I didn't get around to it. And it is a topic that is close to my heart. Fearless flow work means uh, reviving the art of flow work without having the high uh, threshold of having to be super flexible or super strong. I want to make it accessible for everyone. Hello, welcome, welcome. So I'm talking about Saturday, what we'll do. It is a free workshop via Zoom, but I'll also record it so if you cannot join me live this saturday at 11 o'clock cet berlin time brussels time amsterdam time you can still sign up as long as you sign up before saturday hello you will also get the recordings afterwards i will add the link down here so you can join me we already have 49 enrollments uh, even though i have not had time yet to um, to fully promote it. So I think it's a topic that maybe many dancers will enjoy. I hope you will enjoy it. It will be a quick workshop. We might go deeper in this next year. I will show you a couple of things. First will be the Turkish get up, which is an exercise that has helped me a lot with smooth level changes and it's very healthy for all the joints. And this is something we will work on in detail in my next year's online classes, the Boost 2021. Second will be some general tips for flow work and third will be easy movements, movements you can do or you can start with and then you can build your way up to more advanced things. But for today we will do vertical figure eights up and down and we will also use other movements, twists, undulations to make them more 3D. If you have any requests for topics, let me know because the next three weeks we are still in lockdown in Germany. So I will continue my Wednesday free Facebook lives. Hello mama. Oh, hi. Hi Jane also. And let's, let's, let's begin. Before I forget, on Saturday, 12 o'clock 12, enrollments will start from my online boost classes 2021. So I'm doing a full series of 36 weeks. If you want to join me, places are limited. Be sure to sign up this Saturday if you want. It's after the workshop. So even if you do the free workshop, you will still have time to sign up. Okay, let's dance. Let's dance. It is for everyone. I've been asked questions what level, what level the boost classes are for. And I feel that it is for beginner to advanced to teachers because we work on the fundamentals of movement and then that hopefully will make everything easier. Let's slide the legs side to side with the feet parallel. I'm scooting back so you can see my feet hopefully. Sliding side to side back. Now turn the feet slightly out. Feel the difference in the hips. And turn them parallel again. It gives a slightly different stretch. So for warming up, you can do both. Let's add the arms, two quick ones slow, and on the three, my chin turns. Warming up, the neck as well. One, two, and your exhale. One, two, exhale, relax. One, two, exhale, relax. Let's bring the arms up. A little bit. One, two, moving the wrists. One, two, three, and one more. One, two, three, bring it down. One, two, three, bring it up. One, dropping the shoulders. Now switch. One, two, three, arms up, but shoulders deep. 
Hands are a bit in front. Hands are a bit in front. Okay, now let's roll the shoulders. Back, 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 and slow. Quick, 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 and slow. I'm adding a slight plie in my standing leg to warm up the ankles. Little plie. Okay, shake out. Shake out your hands, shake out your feet. We'll do one more song warm up. So we're nice and mobile before we begin. So for the figure eights, we will use our transverse abs for those who did the <laughs> find your abs challenge and your obliques. So the muscles that run across in an X. And we will warm them up extra by bringing hips up and down. You can add your hands and push up and pull at the same time. One, two, three. I'm bending my knees. One, two, three. Keeping my feet nice and planted in the floor. Feeling the heels. And relaxing your neck on the three. Relaxing the shoulders. One, two, three. If you feel any tightness in your hips, punch them. I forgot my count. <laughs> Talking and punching. So wherever you feel it, give it a few bumps. One, two, and bump. Okay, now we'll add rib cage. I'm imagining the sides meet. It's a tiny bit in front. Two, three. And you can add your arm pulling down. One, two, and pull. One, two, and pull. Let's do one more with your arm down. I'm coming closer so I can read better. One, two, and pull. Now, I'm switching my arms. We did this in class on Tuesday. A little coordination on the one and two, and on the three, I pull in opposite directions. Hi Jacqueline! <laughs> welcome, welcome. One, two, pulling, pulling. And release the fingers at the same time. Two more. One, two. Now keep your eyes level on the horizon to lengthen the neck. Yes, that's it. Okay, I think we are warm enough. <laughs> hi, hi. So um, our movement of today will be as a base, the figure eight, vertical figure eight. So this I call down, when the hips go from side to down. And the reverse, side to up, is what I call up. That's how I learned it. But it has different names. I think this one is also called the Maya, when the figure eight goes like this and this one, I don't know. They have different names, but in any case, this is what we will do today. I imagine myself being between two plates of glass. So there's no twisting in the base movement. It's all happening in this uh, parallel to the screen area or mirror if you're walking, working with the mirror. I slide side to side using the obliques and I tilt straight up and down. Or if you want to make it deeper, imagine your hips being a big steering wheel. So you go up, but you also go in. Hope you can see the difference. So you can go straight up. You're tilting this line. But if you want to make it deeper, imagine this being a big wheel and you turn it a slight bit more. You might feel it on the inside of the legs and here. Wherever you feel it, if you stretch and warm up those muscles more, the movements will become deeper. So a big steering wheel. My feet are close together. The closer my feet are, the more the hips will be visible. If I'm wide, try this out, you will not have much motion. So if you keep the feet nice and close, your steering wheel can turn. And that's also good for shimmies, by the way. So it's the same, it's the same hip trick. The more you align your body, so the rib cage versus the pelvis, the more you can help this movement as well. As we saw in the flutter, <laughs> Flutter tutorial and the shimmies tutorial, if you slide your chest a bit to the front without pulling up too much, try it. If you tilt up and do a figure eight, all of this is tight and there's not much movement. Even though you look 
you feel like you're lifting, you're taking away range of motion here. So in order to have still open posture, tilt this down a bit, lengthen behind the ears. So take your head back, roll the shoulders open because they might come with the chest. You roll them open. So now this is more even with the floor, but I'm lengthening the back of my neck. If you have trouble doing this, let's do this together. Put your hands behind your head and press into it, lifting behind the ears. Inhale here. No worries, you can still watch rewatch the recording later. It will stay in the group. So if you just tuned in, not to worry, you didn't miss much yet. So I'm pressing my head into my hand, giving resistance. And I'm aiming my ears diagonally up. Then I let go and I will have a bit more space. So this will compensate for the chest dropping a slight bit in order to have more movement in the front, which we will need. Then to make it even more 3D, I slide to the front of it. Or you could think of this as sliding the hips back a bit. I hope you can see this. The curve here will lengthen. I'm not taking the tailbone up, I'm aiming it diagonally behind me, like the back of a flat hip circle. So that's my base posture to make my figure eights and my belly rolls look uh, more visible and also it will feel more comfortable for the back. So be aware that if this is the posture you learned or are used to, you might have to adapt and readapt all the time until you get used to it. So Get used to changing it and then you will have both. You can play with that. Now, hips up and down, steering wheel to make it deeper, but using a slight slide back. Dropping and sliding the chest instead and then try it again. You might have a bit more range. By the way, this is my new light. <laughs> the reflector that you will see in my stories. I'm so happy with it because in the darker days, even the ring light is not enough. Now, hopefully you can see me better. So up and down, but with the chest level, sliding to the front. Now from here, keep this as it is, keep your shoulders wide and slide the hips side to side. Slide, slide. Wherever you feel this is where you have more movement potential. So if you want to deepen it, I feel a stretch right here when I'm out. This is also a trick we did in the boost class. Use your hands for resistance. Press against it and press the hips out. Inhale here. Thank you. I love it so much. <laughs> it's good for my very pale complexion. Gives me a bit more color. So I'm pressing, sliding my hips out, resisting with my hands. You can do this against the wall. Inhale, smile. And as you exhale, and you move into this new space a couple of times to, to save it in your memory. Other side the same. You might feel a bit constricted, doesn't matter where. You can release it using, thank you. You can release it with your uh, resistance. So I'm resisting with my hands, pressing into it. Or you can use a wall, table, anything that doesn't scoot around. Inhale here and press, smile, exhale. And use this new range immediately. Because if you wait too long, the effect will be gone. If you use it right away, you can keep it for this class. So we have up and down a bit deeper, side to side a bit deeper, and now your figure eights. A beauty screen, good to know. And now your figure eights, hopefully, will have a bit more sway. They will slide more and turn more. So what I do to make my figure eights more 3D, posture, posture, sliding to the front, not up, and sliding to the side, turning the wheel. And as I come back, I don't let go of the wheel. I keep it down and slide as this. So if you use your hands, this sometimes helps. And also if you're a teacher, for students, it's a tiny bit more visible. And for some reason, my hips turn more when I use my imaginary hands. So I'm cranking and I'm keeping this diagonal line keeping this diagonal line as I slide. And then you can connect it, making it deeper. You will feel more weight in the heels because you're turning 
more and that's a good thing. The more range you add, the more you can layer on top without losing the figure eight. Even if you do shimmies, you know the figure eight will become smaller. So the more you practice maximum range slowly, the more you will have to play with. <laughs> Let's reverse. It's the same but different. I turn my wheel, I slide, but now the hip is down where I slide up. I switch and slide. I switch and slide. I switch and slide, I switch and slide. Hope you can see my feet. I'm not lifting the heel just yet. For practice, I want to use my abs and use the relaxation of my knees and pressing the heels first. This is more difficult, but it will give you better, cleaner technique. And then afterwards on stage, you can add the heels to go up and down or to not go up and down, but to make it deeper. But if you practice without it, you will have more <laughs> to play with. So this, this you can work on at ease. We will add more. So for, for the base figure eight down, the first one we practiced, if you want to add something interesting, one thing I like to do is every now and then I let the upper body move and then I keep it still again. So I'm doing the figure eight, figure eight, and now, I simply relax. It's like I'm melting and I'm letting my head move and then I bring it back in again. Otherwise it's, it becomes too wild. So it's one, two, I breathe and let everything move. And one, two, moving and bring it back in, back in, moving. This I also call 3D because more is moving and then <laughs> it comes back. Let's try this up. Just the hips, just the hips. And then the upper body snakes with it. Then again, just the hips. I move a little bit here in compensation, but it's different from when I really add more. Yes, and I'm not yet going with the head. I keep my eyes calm so the body is more visible in motion. Thank you. Okay, fixing the hair. Okay, <laughs> the next thing I want to add is a twist. I know I said in the beginning we are between two plates of glass. Well, I've widened them a bit <laughs> for the posture. Between two, hi Wendy, two plates of glass. But for variation, I would start the figure eight down and then start twisting, twisting with that. So as you see, I'm not changing the movement. My feet stay on the floor, but I am twisting my hips figure eight, twisting my hips figure eight, so it becomes more interesting. And this you can also use when the melody has something extra. So you have a figure eight to start, then you start twisting and the hips start changing shape. My upper body doesn't follow along yet, but you can also do this. <laughs> okay, if you do a twist with the figure eight going up, it's a slightly different effect. Let's try that. Going up, up, up. And there, <laughs> what I like to do is uh, a bit inspired by Samya Gamal. And I want to make a video or a workshop or something with Samya style because that's something I love a lot and I haven't had time this year. So next year, something we will do. One of her favorite movements is a figure eight up where she adds a lifting of the heel and then a slight twist to the front also. So it's a figure eight up with heel lift, heel lift. You can see it gives a bit more of a circle and I'm keeping the heels together. I'm not letting my feet come out. Otherwise, all you see is feet. Yes, yeah? so my knees stay together. My ankles stay together, but I'm lifting a heel, lifting a heel and then I do a little twist to the front and in. So it's diagonal and in, diagonal and in, diagonal. As if I'm putting music in my pocket. I'm grabbing with my hip, pulling in, grabbing with my hip, pulling in. For the find your abs participants, this is obliques and also hip flexor. And a tiny bit, one side of your six pack, eight pack muscles. 
and my chest stays to the front unless I want to make it more but then it changes the style okay yes Samia Gama I love her so much so beautiful and elegant and uh, <laughs> so many things that I uh, love about her videos so next year we will add something the things we did <laughs> basic figure eight down basic figure eight up figure eight down with adding upper body every now and then figure it up adding upper body every now and then then figure it down with a twist with a twist with a twist and this i like to do <laughs> one two three one two three or back middle back middle figure it up with a twist I like to do the Samya variation where I lift the heel and do one on each side. Same but different. You can do all variations, but those are my two favorites. Okay, let's try these with music. Yes, we have time. <laughs> let's try these with music. Medium tempo. And then we'll add afterwards as the last two movements, undulations with figure eights. But for now, basic. Basic with upper body and twist. Figure eights, down. Side and down. Side and down. Use your hands to push and pull to make it easier. For dance feet, all I do is I turn out a bit and maybe I lift one heel, but I keep the movements in both hips. Add some hands. Keep hands very simple and slow so the hips are nice and visible. If you have one heel lifted, change the heel. Keep it going. Keep the hands here. Let's add some upper body. And then we go back to normal figures. Again, upper body. I sway it. And then just to figure it with a bit of freedom. Now twist back, twist back, twist back, twist back, twist back. I twist, full figure eight, middle, other side, middle, twist, middle, other side, middle. One more. Twist. Middle. Twist the other side. Middle. Now quick. One, two, three, and we come down a bit and up. I'm lifting both heels, keeping the legs together, and now slow again. Slow again. Showing you some arm variations. Okay, that's for figure eights down. Let's go with figure eights up. Also, awesome. So, same thing. Normal ones with dance feet. Adding upper body every now and then. And then adding a twist, the Samia style one. So, get your figure eight going. For now, with heels down. But I'm turning the legs out a little and bringing one foot slightly in front of the other. My knees are close together and they're crossed a bit. And this leg slightly turned out. A lot of stuff. Okay, slowing down, slowing down. Now try upper body. Just the hips. Upper body, just the hips. Upper body, hips, hips, hips. Upper body slow, quick, quick, quick. Now slow upper body, medium tempo figures. Slow upper body, medium tempo figures. Slow arms. 
Now I'm going to start twisting. For this, I lift my heels, but again, I keep my feet turned out and my ankles together. Twist, in. Twist, up, in. Twist, up, in. Twist, up, in. Twist, in. My chest stays to the front as much as possible. Then if you feel like you've got it, <laughs> add some simple arms. You can go from pose to pose, it doesn't need to be much. Slow down even more. This, back to, straight up, straight up, straight up, upper body adds. A bit of plie. shake that out let's stretch out our back muscles because that's a lot of work uh, these guys have to do for this I like to use a table or a wall well a wall something I can grab so maybe a doorknob if you have anything nearby grab it now for a moment <laughs> I might be out of frame let me see if I can turn you yes so the sofa you can see the sofa I'm just grabbing it and I'm sliding the hips back Lifting my toes so my heels have my weight and then I move my hips to start. Then I bend my knees a bit and I do the same. I'm, you can round your back and lengthen it. Do both. <laughs> and it's also a nice stretch for under the shoulders. Then you can go deeper and lengthen the back and round it. Lengthen and round. And you move side to side. You can also change the way your feet. I know I'm under the comments, I'm here. And come up again. Bend and straighten the legs. We'll stretch a tiny bit at the end. Whew. So that's figure eights vertically with a bit of 3D using twists. Let me bring you back so you can see the Christmas tree. <laughs> Hold it on. Uh, using twists and using upper body or no upper body. Another thing we added in the dance was level changes. And this is something we will work on Saturday in the floor work. Oh yes, thank you. In the floor work, fearless floor work workshop, adding level changes because coming up and down from floor work and making this part of your dance is also something that's very nice. Figure eights are a good one because if you use, if you train yourself to use your obliques and not only the feet, you can do this in releve and if you can do a figure eight in releve you can also bend the knees and from there you're free to move same thing when you come down if you can do a figure eight and really pull your wheel from the obliques lift your weight up a bit then lift both heels sorry <laughs> i switched to figure eight because i'm talking and doing if you can do a figure eight even if it's smaller on your toes with the knees slightly bent, then you are free to level change with this. So that's all it takes. Try the movement on your toes. If you can manage it, you're free to do it. <laughs> and you can theoretically also walk, but up and down is easier than walking. So <laughs> level changes are actually a little bit easier than walking with movement. So you can start working this in. You will get strong legs when you do that. So in the boost classes, <laughs> for those who just turned in, tuned in, starting January 11th, I will do weekly classes, three times a week, Monday strength, Tuesday flexibility, and on Fridays we dance. It's the same as I did this year, only I'm making longer seasons, three months for isolations and layering, three months for shimmies and leg work, and three months for arms and props. And if you sign up early, so starting Saturday, you can have a spot for all of them, 36 weeks and you pay per month. You don't have to pay it at the start, um, but you can sign up just to have monthly payments and you get a bit of a discount if you uh, sign up early. And the payments start in January, so no worries with Christmas. Saturday is just for signing up and reserving your spot and everyone who is in this list will get the payment details in January. That was one of the questions that I wanted you to know. So now, so now we are back to figure eights. Up, and we'll add an undulation, an undulation, or a belly roll. Belly roll and undulation are family. 
If you lift the chest and drop it, and then roll your belly down. For this movement, check last week's, check last week's free Facebook Live recording. We work on just this. It's like the rolling pin going down or the belly button traveling in and down. If you do a figure eight up, you can add a roll when the hip is side and up. It's the easiest part. If your hip is side and up, there, you are already a bit contracted in the front and that's your start of the belly roll down. If you keep this contained and if you keep your rib cage silent, it'll be a figure eight with belly roll, but you can also add a lift as you lift the hip and then you have a bit of both. It will be undulation, so with more chest, plus the figure eight, up and roll down up and roll down. But if I add the chest, I also lift my heel, otherwise the movement is too small and it balances it out. This one you can do with a twist or you can start, build it up. Straight, figure it up. Figure it up with heels. Figure it up with heels and just a belly roll. Figure it up with heels, belly roll and an undulation. So all of it. <laughs> And then you can go crazy and twist with it <laughs> and do level changes and everything. So you build it up. Coming down is um, same but different. Figure eight side to down. Also, I think called Maya. Be sure to every now and then check, by the way, that your hips are still back and under or that your chest is still a bit in front and dropped here. It'll make it easier on your body. So the figure eight, you can even hold your hands here. Figure it down, figure it down. Adding a belly roll up. It's hard for me to talk and do this. Adding a belly roll up. <laughs> Sorry, you can hear my, you can hear my stomach. <laughs> Adding a belly roll up. When the hips cross from the middle. I cannot talk and do it but hopefully you can see it. I won't do it the whole time because it's a lot, but I would do figure eights down and then every now and then, when I pass the middle, I will roll up. If you are far away on a stage, you can also add the chest lift at the end to make it more visible. So this you can also build up. Figure eights down, normal. I bend my knees a bit more so I have more uh, pelvic tilt, which will start my belly roll. I roll <laughs> and continue, or I roll, hi Suzanne. So I do either figure it down and a belly roll, which stops here, or I continue the movement and do a slight tilt lift here and or head. And also this you can combine with a level change just by lifting your heels at the end. All right, capiche? <laughs> Does this make sense? We will try this with music. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Yes, I love these kind of movements because they are figure eights and one of my favorite movements. But this way you can um, adapt it more to the music and to your taste. So you have more vocabulary with this beautiful movement, I hope. And that's not even adding shimmies. That's for later next year. <laughs> you can add anything on top, anything that you don't need the obliques for, like flutters. It works, it works. Figure eight is a very good movement for layering. Which is why I love it. Let's do slower music for this one. Yes. We'll do two songs. <laughs> one for the figure eight up with the belly roll and undulation and one for figure eight down. This is also our stretch. So let's begin with that. I don't want to take too much of your lunchtime break if you are doing this at work, which I know some of you are. Let's bend. And I recommend if you're practicing at home, every now and then, just stretch in between movements. It'll keep you going for longer and give you more comfort. This is what I do at home also. I don't push myself too hard. When I feel my body needs it, I stretch it out and I move and then I continue. It will give me more more efficient practice this way. So do whatever you need. 
that's better. Maybe it's time to start. Yes, <laughs> goal achieved. I love it too. So let's slow it down. Slow it down. Keeping the feet nice and close together so the hips can move. Keeping the chest a tiny bit in front and lengthening the back. So you have a bit of activation here all the time. Follow the music. And we now then add the upper body. And the level change. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Now we go quick and up and down. With a undulation up. I'll come closer so you can see. Up. Eight. Eight. Up. Thank you, Jane. Up. <laughs> Hard to talk and do. And a twist. I almost forgot about the twist. Voila, that's a full song. Two minutes and a half filled with only figure eights down. So this is how much you can do with one movement. And that's also good to know for improvisation. You don't have to do five million movements. Just choose one, work with it, and then halfway the song, choose another, and then you mix and match. It works. Nice, nice. Let's go with figure eights up. Second move. your time, dropping the shoulders, and breathe. If you hold your breath, you will block part of your figure eight. So give it, give it all the space it needs. Let's add a little lift. I'm lifting both heels, by the way, but keeping my feet close together. And I'm completing hips are behind me. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow on a plie. One, two, three, and plie. One, one, two, three, and upper body. Let's start adding undulation. Up, down, down. One, two, undulate. Now only quick figure eights. Undulate. Quick, quick, quick. Undulate. Let's do Samya's twist. Twisting to the front, then lifting it in. For this one, watch the legs so they don't do everything. For now, for practice, move just as far as your hips let you. My knees are close together. Two, and in. And you can add even an undulation to that. Nice. Okay, so that's it. That's it for today. Thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you for joining. Feel free to share this video, by the way. I always forget to say this. These are public videos. So share them with your friends, share them with everyone you think might enjoy these. I will continue doing free Facebook Lives on Wednesdays throughout December. And next year also I will continue, but maybe a bit less frequent. It depends. <laughs> it depends on how the situation will be. And uh, feel free to join me this Saturday. It's for everyone, for all levels, uh, on 11 o'clock. CET Berlin time. It's called Fearless Flow Work and I'll make a Facebook event so you'll find the sign up link. You can sign up even if you cannot join me live. You will get the recordings but do sign up before Saturday so I know who is in.
Yes. And then after that, if you want, if you feel inspired, join me next year for Boost 2021. We will work on all things good for the body and hopefully free up more movement and have some connection, have some connection no matter what happens. The Boost classes are during daytime, like this one, 12.30 to 1, with a bit of Q&A time. And we have one Facebook group for all the Boosties. So you're free to join me. See you soon. See you hopefully Saturday. And Boosties, see you Friday for our final class of the year. Bye-bye.